Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about expressions. So this is a 7th grade standard. We are going to talk about all the vocabulary words that you need to know in this chapter. This is chapter 3, lesson 1 on algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions. First we are going to talk about an expression. An expression is a mathematical phrase which combines numbers, variables and operators. Operators means addition, subtraction, multiplication or division to show the value of something. So there is no equal sign in an algebraic expression or in any expression. Algebraic expressions are like x plus 5. An example for algebraic expression is x plus 5. Another example is 2x plus 7. And another example is 3y plus 7z plus 9c. So algebraic expressions are expressions with variables. Parts of an algebraic expression are called terms. Each term in an algebraic expression is separated by an addition sign or subtraction sign. In the expression 5x plus 3y minus 8, the terms are 5x. 3y and negative 8. There are three terms and negative 8 is called a constant. When a term is made up of a constant multiplied by a variable, constant multiplied by a variable or variables, that constant is called the coefficient. In the term 5x, 5 is called the coefficient and x is called the variable. Now we are going to identify the terms of the expressions. The first expression is 10b plus 13 minus 6b plus 4. So you can see there are four different parts for this expression. So when we identify the terms, when we list the terms, you need to consider the subtracting 6b as adding a negative 6b. So the terms are 10b, 13, negative 6b and positive 4. So that is very important. You can even rewrite this expression as 10b plus 13 plus negative 6b plus 4. Thinking subtraction is adding the negative. Remember before when we learned the integers, we knew 2 minus 3 is same as 2 plus negative 3. So we are using the same concept here. 2 minus 3 is same as 2 plus negative 3. So subtracting a 6b is same as adding a negative 6b. So there are four terms 10b, 13. It's very important for you to remember it's a negative 6b and 4. So let's look at the second problem. We have three parts. 15k, 11 and negative 3k. 
So let's rewrite that as an addition sentence. 15k plus 11 plus negative 3k. Now you identify the terms. The terms are 15k comma 11 comma negative 3k. The third expression is a long expression. So let's look at the parts. 7a, 13c, negative 6d, 4b and negative 35. So let's rewrite that as an addition expression. So that means 7a plus 13c plus negative 6d plus 4b plus negative 35. Again, remember, 2 minus 3 is same as 2 plus negative 3. So we are adding the opposite. So the terms are 7a, 13c, negative 6d, 4b and negative 35. Now let's talk about um, terms. Parts, so remember, parts of an algebraic expression are called terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variable raised to the same exponent. Constant terms are also like terms. So examples of like terms are 7x, x, 3x, 1 half of x, negative 2x. All these terms have the same variable x and raised to the same power, same exponent 1. Another set of like terms are 8y, 11y. 7 and 3 tenth of y, y means 1y, 1 100 y. They all have the same variable y. And the constant terms like 3, 7, 84, 72, 35, 8 tenth, these are all like terms. Unlike terms are terms with different variables or with the same variable raised to different exponents. So for example, 7x, 7y, 3z, a. They all have different variables. So they are unlike terms. Another example is 8x. 2y, a, 7b. These are all unlike terms because they all have different variables. Another set is negative 3z to the second power and 5z. They have the same variable but this exponent of the first term is 2. Exponent of the second term is 1. So they have different exponents. Like terms are terms that have the same variable raised to the same exponent. Unlike terms are terms with different variables or with the same variable raised to different exponents. So in these problems, they are asking you to identify the terms and like terms in the expression. So let's do these problems. The first expression is 7 plus 4p minus 5 plus, 5 plus p plus 2 cube. So you can see there are 5 parts. And remember the minus sign, minus 5 is 
negative 5 p 2 q let's rewrite as a sum of terms let's rewrite the expression as a sum of terms so i can write this as 7 plus 4 p plus negative 5 plus p plus 2 q now it's uh, easy to identify the terms the terms are 7 comma 4 p comma negative 5 comma p comma 2 q so there are five terms now they are asking you to identify the like terms so like terms are terms with the same variable raised to the same exponent so let's identify the like terms 7 7 is a constant do we have any other constants yes we have negative 5 and 7 they both are constants so they are like terms 7 comma negative 5 is one set of like terms and another set let's look at the um, terms with the variable do we have any terms with the same variable 4p and p they both have the same variable p and raised to the same exponent 1 so that is so that those are the second set of like terms 4p and p and there are no terms with the variable q so 2q doesn't have any terms to go with as like terms so we are done we have two sets of like terms 7 comma negative 5 and 4p comma p there are two sets of like terms so we are done with that problem so let's look at the second problem that has one two three four parts and remember if there is a minus sign you should consider that as a negative r squared so let's rewrite the given expression as a sum of terms so i can write 2 r to the second power plus 7 r plus negative r to the second power plus negative 9 these are the four terms so let's list the terms 2 r to the second power comma 7 r comma negative r to the second power comma negative 9 so the like terms are terms with the same variable raised to the same exponent so i can see 2 r squared and negative r squared they both have the same variable r raised to the same exponent 2 so they we can pick that as like terms 2 r squared comma negative r squared do we have any other terms that has the same variable raised to the same exponent no because 7 r the exponent is 1 and negative 9 that's a constant so the exponent of the variable is 0 so they are not like terms so we have only one set of like terms 2 r to the second power and negative r to the second power